So the idea is that how can we make more brown adipose tissue? And so we all know, in, especially in obese individuals, they have a lot of white adipose tissue. So one simple idea is that can we turn this white adipose tissue into the energy burning brown adipose tissue and to improve? By doing so, then we can improve uh, metabolism. So in this study, we use a specific um, method of CRISPR that can help to turn on gene expression. So we, we isolate human Y adversaries, or we can also actually isolate their, we call the progenitor cells. These are the cells can give rise to the mature ad, uh, fat cells. So we, we use CRISPR technology to um, make these cells to express one of a very important key protein that uh, is present only in brown adipose tissue and this protein is called UCP1. So by doing so then we are able to make these cells become uh, brown-like cells. So we call these human brown-like cells and humble cells for short. And so this is a proof of concept uh, experiment. This we take the, uh, we, we took the uh, engineer cells and also the, the uh, parental white cells, white fat cells, and brown cells. We inject these cells into mice, and after a few weeks, we notice that in the uh, injected cells become a fat tissue, and we are able to retrieve this tissue at least to look at how they looks like. And here you can see the humble cells looks like the, uh, the, the it's parent uh, white uh, adipocyte, but it's also, it, it, but it, it expressed this unique marker um, that I mentioned earlier that we engineered um, to turn on the gene expression by CRISPR technology called UCP1. But they express this unique marker that for brown adipocytes. So by doing so, then we are able to generate these humble cells and also after transplant transplanting these cells into mice. Um, we could do the studies by feeding the mice with high fat diet. And normally um, on high fat diet, the mice become obese and they become more insulin resistant. And we noted that the mice receiving humble cell transplantation, um, they, are, they, they gain less weight compared to the mice receiving the white adipocyte transplantation, and they are also become more insulin sensitive, and they are able to clear the glucose from their blood uh, better, which is, you know, is a, a problem uh, causing diabetes. Um, so this is, uh, the, we are very excited about uh, th these findings um, because we think um, in the future, this is uh, a technique really can be applied in human, um, so especially um, in obese uh, individuals. Uh, the procedure is that if you can, um, you can take a tiny bit of white adipose tissue uh, from uh, an, a subject and we could isolate the progenitor cells and uh, using this CRISPR technology to make these cells acquire this uh, brown, brown like feature uh, similar to what we did in this study, then we can put these cells back to the same uh, individual. And so this is the same cells going back to the same individual, so called autologous transplantation, and it's not going to cause any, uh, any rejection of the cells. So procedure-wise, it's um, relatively simple, uh, non-invasive, and uh, um, so by doing so, we hope that we can help this uh, the the individual the subject to um, turn on this uh, this type of cells to consume more energy, to to consume the ex excess glucose or, or lipid uh, circulating in the body. And by doing so, then we can help them to improve their diabetes or their uh, metabolic disease.